everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my kitchen and today I'm really excited because I'm cooking with lamb but more excited because I'm cooking lamb for Alana's 30th birthday. I'm actually undecided which option is going to be the best so I'm doing two completely different options. Uh, now, now you need to explain who Alana is. Yeah so Alana is uh, a really nice friend of ours who is turning 30 on the 7th of April, is it? Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, she is one of our beloved watchers. So hopefully she will jump in at some stage and say, yay, this is about me, because it is all for her. And that's what we like to do here at Mrs. Rogers is make food that you guys want. So Alana is hosting a uh, dinner party for her birthday with three guests and she needed a lamb recipe for her birthday. Now you could do something so easy as to just sprinkle a, a lamb roast or a lamb shank or lamb cutlets with the, the kiwi roast because that is just to die for and some salt. Uh, you could just do a, a basic rosemary and salt lamb. I always put salt with my lamb because it brings out the flavour and makes it nice and crispy and crunchy. However, I am going to do a lamb shank and a lamb roast that you can choose from. Am I allowed to show it yet? You can show it. All right. And I'm prepared earlier. I really wish we had smell vision because, damn, they are yum. And you can just see the juices of that lamb roast. Oh, that, this is literally just come out of the literally oven. Literally eking out because I have just pulled these out of the oven. Mm, so, that guys. <laughs> So the lamb shank is a really okay. spicy one, um, spicy in uh, taste, not heat. Eddie says lamb is good. Lamb is good. And the lamb roast is an apple and gin and oregano uh, lamb roast, uh, which is really nice. So these are basically two marinades that you can use on just about any lamb. Uh, yeah, so, so anyway, let's get cooking. Let's get going. Because I, I want to hurry up. <laughs> so. In a little pot, doesn't matter. We've got some fennel seeds, and as per the recipes in the in the um, body of the text, so I'm not going to bother about telling you how much. Margaret doesn't have lamb often, but she loves it. Some cardamom seeds, I love lamb, and some coriander seeds. So those are our three seeds. This is going to be for our lamb shank. So, so that it's you fennel, can see. cardamom, coriander. Yes. Right. So I am just going to pop them on a medium heat. And I just want to do that until it's fragrant. I'm not even going to bother standing here. I'm just going to leave that for a couple of minutes until those spices are fragrant. Now, continuing on with our marinade mix, I've got uh, some mint. Yum. This is Roger's mint. Some turmeric. Which yeah. is not, that's not something you necessarily associate with lamb, is it? Turmeric. Turmeric, no, no, absolutely not. No, it's but it, it's common in curry, yeah. so yeah. It works. Uh, and and masala. the masala powder. Kashmiri masala powder. Kashmiri masala. So I've got those three. I've actually got some pre ground salt here. Oh, that was nicely I done. Nicely love, planned. Love my salt. See, it's great. You can just leave it in the little. No, you don't grate it, you grind it. Oh, you're huh. funny. Uh, sorry, that's for that bit. Let's not get confused. I'll chuck my phone over there. Now, uh, the yogurt. Yogurt. We've got three tablespoons of yogurt. Just normal yogurt or Greek yogurt? Well, this I'm just using Greek yogurt because I had some left over. As long as it's plain. Yeah. I won't use strawberry or no, mango. That would be weird. Mango would be nice. Your mango lamb. No? Okay. That's why Kirsty does the cooking and I do the filming. Well, you could, but maybe not with all these spices and things. So you just want to... Mix it up there. How's Whip your, it good. And your ar aromatic spices it's, over there. Well, oh, um, Alana has joined us. Oh, Happy yay. early birthday, Alana. So this is your. This is your Mrs. Happy Rogers birthday, Alana. Lamb, lamb, lamb birthday special party. thing. This is what we're making here for you, mate. And again, you can choose if you want to use you it or not. Choose which up one up or not at all. Or not whichever. At all. Up to you. Now, I'm just so I'm just wanting to got the spices get and that. that. What was so, it? Coriander. Uh, coriander. Fennel and, and going back over here, cardamom. Cardamom, thank you. Sorry, it's a shot of the ground. That's very lucky of you. <laughs> lucky. Well done. And that's, so that's just releasing the aromatics. So that's just the... yeah. I'm just wanting to get them warmed through. I'm wanting to release those uh, flavours because next I'm going to bash them. You're going to bash them? Yeah. They've been naughty. No? Yep, that's about right. Oh yum. 
Yeah, I'm going to bash them. Okay, so into the mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle. I'll get a fair get... work out at our house. Yes. The herbs it's... and spices around. So I figured out that so my cat really back. hates this noise before, freaked the heck out of him. He had an absolute spaz and wondered what the heck was happening. <laughs> so we've already made this. Um, so this so is a marinade. Us, this is a marinade. If you're joining us um, a little bit late, you can always go about either look on the uh, recipe which is in the post, Body. or yep. you can wait till the live's finished and go back and watch it. Or if you're already watching this, good on you. Thanks. Oh. So I just want to grind it. I could probably stand there for hours grinding it. Um, the, yeah, it smells it's, lovely. It does. We're just mm. really wanting to break those seeds up mm. and get the, um, the flavors out. Yeah, get those flavors out. So into the marinade. Into the marinade. Now the thing with both of these dishes, ideally you'd want to marinate it for a good couple of hours, if not overnight. Uh, however, I'm not going to stay live overnight. No. Uh, Things to do. It's Friday, and, there's a drink to be had. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm going to very quickly, now, ideally probably put them in um, like a bag, like one of those Ziploc bags or something like that. And you just kind of want to chuck your marinade all over there. <laughs> that's, a, that's a chefing term, is it? Chuck your marinade on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was like Kiwi barbecue styles, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Just throw it on there. Just throw them on. Oh, so you, you can oh, already oh. smell those the spices. I know that's because of it being slightly warm. So anyway, you you get the idea. You guys are clever. Yes. You know what I mean. Just slap it on there. Just. And we're slap heading it towards on. this. This is what we're heading towards. And you can see from the turmeric, actually, the colour um, of the slightly yellow has come through in the line. It has. So that's that marinade. That's one done. One done. We're now this about is six minutes, and this is the next one. This is my other one. So, I want a small apple. Now, I am using a pink lady apple. Uh, however, any sweet apple is fine, and I'm leaving the skin on. You nice. could even make it really different and use a Granny Smith or something like that. That would give Even it a tarter. really nice tart. However, mm. we do pop lemon juice in that. I, I really wanted to use the sweetness of the uh, apple. 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 Nice. So. Just dicing that up. Now I'm going to use my Nutribullet Wizzy thing, that is my technical term. Uh, but if you had a blender or some, something, because we're going to make this, this is more of a paste kind of concept. So uh, yeah, if you've got something similar, that would be ideal. Now I've got Mrs. Rogers onion flakes, which nice. are really nice and you can actually eat these yeah. things. It's a it's flake like, of onion. Mm, it's just like garlic. Mm. So nice. Yum. Salt, of salt. course. More salt. Uh, some lemon juice. Nice, freshly squeezed. Actually, this isn't. This oh, is from sorry. those One those, those little those jar, little things. jar nice. pory things. Because I figure it's a marinade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't even remember what that, that is. Looks like water. That's gin. Gin. Oh, is so it really? Some gin. It's gin. Oh, of course it's gin because that's in the recipe. Nice. Gin. Uh, and some oil. Nice. I'm using rice bran rice oil, bran your but you can use whatever oil you like, well and uh, a lot of oregano, Heck which well. actually reminds me more of pizza. Mm. The smell of oregano oh. gives me a real pizza flavor. Now, this is where it's going to get a bit noisy because I'm going to whiz right. that up and make it into a paste. Now, what Kirsty does that, I'm just going to make an observation that I know we do a lot of cooking and all the rest, but this was fast. Like what you've just done there has been about 10 minutes worth. Um, and I know you're set up and we're going live and, and all the rest. But it just goes to prove that the amount of time that you would sit in a McDonald's drive through queuing up for a Friday night dinner to get your, your dinner box or whatever for the kids, you actually could have done, or the kids could have done this. Would that be right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's a great way to teach maths with quarters and halves yeah. and things like that. Yep. Especially kids who find things, um, or especially maths, hard and difficult. It gives them a reason as to why they need to learn it. Oh, so nice. don't worry about the two, you know, those chunky bits and too That's much. Fine. And now, again, ideally, it would be good if we could leave this overnight. But we can't. We can't. We can't. So I'm just going to pour him on there. Now... Magic trick. 
dun, dun, Even dun. though you can choose to cook these in your oven or uh, slow cook them or barbecue them or wh whatever method you want to do, it is essential to brown your meat. Browning meat gives you flavor. It looks good, doesn't it, Alana? Alana just said it looks good. Great. So browning the meat. Browning the meat. So you can do this on the barbecue, just brown it on the barbecue, or you can keep cooking it on the barbecue, but with the lamb shank, I love it all nice and moist, so mm. I would put it brown either it. in a slow cooker or take it back to the oven. But Well, you looked at doing the slow cooker, didn't you, before, and it was going to take... Yeah, so six to eight hours yeah. for a lamb shank, but... If you were having a dinner party say on a Friday night and you needed to go off to work in the morning, you could marinate this on a Thursday night. Oh yeah. Stick it in the slow cooker on a Friday for... morning. It'll be done in for, for the you. For Alana, there, there's your nice yeah. relaxing 30th birthday. So, and I'm not even sure what the seventh is. Sorry, no. I'm not sure what date that Hopefully what Saturday day it is. Or Friday. But anyway, we want it's going to sizzle and pop. We're wanting to brown that. So obviously, ideally, we would have had this. Uh, soaking. soaking overnight. Overnight. But, but do you know what? It's still going to have flavour, so don't stress Saturday. it. Saturday. Lana says it's a Saturday. Oh, yeah. Hey, high five. Nice. My birthday's a Saturday this year as well. That's another birthday with a zero in it. I thought it had 21st. a one. Oh, no? no. Yeah, 21st. That doesn't have zero in it. So, concept is, you know, that's another thing, guys. When you buy the, this is a rolled lamb roast, and I cut it in half because I didn't want to make two of them because, I mean, we love lamb, but not that much. Um, you can cook. You cook cook with that, that thing on. The thing, that, oh, the, the, the rope The thing, the rope. You, so you want to oh. cook with him on because if you take that off, so we're your, fall bit. your rolled lamb will just go to smithereens. So it's made to be cooked. So it's 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 a and I really wanted to start him like that. Uh, it's it's made to be cooked with that on. So you just take it off before you serve it. I oh, didn't know that. So there you go. Just in case. And if you're if you're not sure, just check with your butcher. Just say, hey, is this the stuff that you can? And he'll go, yeah. Hopefully he'll go. So yeah, check yeah, before well, you if, cook. Yeah. If oh. not, you're gonna have to um. You know, you'll have to find a way of binding that together with twine or sticks or something. I don't know. Now, lamb shanks. I always like to cook them in tin foil at least to start, because we've browned them. This is how I did this one. So I browned this one first, and then I have put it in the oven to cook. Uh, and that so, looks glorious. And that looks glorious. And it tastes even better. Well, we hope so. Well, we I, I, just... I, so I know it tastes better because I had a bit. Oh, oh lucky. Did you not see that? So we're just wanting to really brown these. Uh, as I said, you can do this on your barbecue, on a skillet on the on the stove top, um, and your electric fry pan. You guys know I love my electric fry pan. So uh, yeah, so it makes life a lot easier. So the first one, I'm just going to go through these slices because I yeah. can really smell them activating now. So the first recipe for the um, so one of them has fennel, cardamom, coriander, mint, turmeric, and masala powder with a bit of salt. And that was all mixed in together, and that gave us that paste with, there. With basically yogurt. With yogurt, that was it. And the other one had, uh, we'll go over here, oh, because she's cooking, oregano, onion flakes. So the only two spices. Yeah. Um, and so it had apple and gin, gin uh, yeah. lemon juice. Yeah. I think that was, that oh, was a, bit a, of salt. a bit of salt as well. Yeah. So really easy ingredients for, yeah. for making something which is going to be quite special. Which is going to be really mm. tasty. You, sm you really smell the, yeah. um, the the masala and the turmeric. But yeah, not well it's the combination of all of all those. Of them. All of those. Mm. Because this one actually has paprika, cumin, coriander and turmeric. Oh, so, yeah, so in you've it, got a as double. Well as other. So it's essentially a double. Double batch. Yeah, but it just, by adding those extras, it gives it more depth of flavour yeah. and things like that. So. And this is, this is the outcome. Now, again, I know I keep saying this, but this is a quick meal. This is not, you know, once you've done your, you're leaving it overnight, but even we, we didn't marinate these and they've come out glorious. And even, even. Yeah. Oh even, no, this little bit fell off. Oh no. Oh no, that little bit there just fell off. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'll better do, deal with oh, it. Oh no, can you tidy that oh, up yeah, for me? Yeah. So the other really oh, important yum. thing guys is mm -hmm. that you need to um, <laughs> let your meat sit for Rest. 10 minutes. Oh, yum. Let it sit, have a glass of wine, you know, and <laughs> this 
is Look at that. beautiful. Look at that. Look at that, perfectly Perfect. cooked. Little bit of red. I like a little bit of rib with my lamb. I actually like to cross the ends. Oh, is that a sign for that me to I really like that cut there. the crusty end Might off be. for you? Just so. so, let's try. Mm, mm, really gentle flavour. Mm, it is. Mm. I think, Alana, you were saying you're not necessarily a huge spice user. Mm. Um, and that is that just gives that really lovely flavour mm. to the lamb. Sorry, we keep doing this thing where we're eating and talking. I know, sorry. It's rude. Apologies. Oh, that's nice. But you can taste the sweetness of the apple mm. and taste the acidity of the lemon juice and you can yep. even taste the juniper flavour coming, coming through, through the gin. Mm. So it's, oh, I'm still cooking. Yeah, sorry. Distracting you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. So at the moment we're just browning off. So we're just browning off and that's fairly brown as long as you've got some colour on. Right down there. He's not there as go. brown but you get the idea guys, you can stand there and brown. <laughs> Tan and brown. Now I am just purely using some baking paper here because my um, tray is not very attractive. <laughs> so it's a, uh, Eddie says H, H when that happens. Yeah, not wrong. Yeah. All right. So now my lamb here is coming apart just a bit because of because I cut it in half. But as you can see, it um, it. If you if you took if you thought oh I've got to cook this and I'll take this stringy thingy off it's all going to fall to bits it's all going to fall to bits so just so that you know that that is done so this goes in the oven now for uh, round about fifty minutes for the lamb is what I did for that size these two pieces of lamb combined is about a kilo and a half and that is all meat so it's really it's pretty good meal. value actually and that would be ample for four people because we're catering for four. You could possibly either pig out because it's a birthday, I always like to provide a little bit mm. more meat than what you're supposed to have or have some for on sandwiches etc the next day. Although, Do you know what uh, we you're were going to say, say, second day lamb second day on the lamb. barbecue is the best yeah. meal because so, you get the fat, yeah. no, I'm not shutting up now, you get the fat and it gets all crispy. So you fry it then, uh, hard on a really hot uh, barbecue oh, or fry pan gosh. until it just is so crispy. I reckon second day lamb could almost be better than first day lamb. Probably. Pro People have yep. had that conversation about pizza, having second day pizza being yep. better than first day pizza. I think you're almost right. But there. I reckon that lamb. But anyway, uh, and so yeah, at the lamb shanks, at the same sort of time, around the sort of 45 minute mark, I've wrapped it... <laughs> So Happy trying, lamb tarts. Happy lamb tarts. I've wrapped it in tin foil to mm. try and keep that moisture in and to keep the flavours in. If you wanted to take the tin foil off for the last 10 minutes and crisp up those edges a little bit more, by all means do. That would be a really good time just to crisp it up. Let it sit for the 10 minutes and uh, yeah, happy lambing. Happy birthday. So happy birthday to Alana. This all came about because we asked people to tell us what we could do for them. Yep. So we've invented two... Alana says, thanks, awesome. It's a, send some of the lamb your way. Yeah, well, yeah, I, well to be if honest, there's any left. I don't even know it's going to make the evening. So Because um, all our kids love lamb. Mm -hmm. Lamb, lamb, lamb. Lamb, lamb, lamb. So, so have a happy birthday, Alana. Yes, have happy a birthday. awesome weekend, everybody. Yep. And, and uh, I'm going to go have a glass of something now. Yes. Wine. And red wine with red my wine lamb. Red wine with the lamb dinner. See everybody. Very good. See ya. Bye. Bye.